the Battle of the Arabs. It is time for me to review the Shark Flex Style versus the Dyson Airwrap. So I slept with wet hair and I don't believe that wet hair gives you a headache because I do it all the time. If you grew up with your parents telling you that sleeping with wet hair will give you a headache, um, I think they just wanted to say that so that you don't complain to them if you actually do end up getting a headache when you sleep with wet hair. I feel like if you do it for so long, you'll just get used to it and your head won't hurt. My hair is still slightly damp, so that's perfect for what we're gonna do today, comparing the Shark Beauty Flex Style and the Dyson Airwrap. For this side, I'm gonna do the Shark Beauty Flex Style, and then this side, I'll do the Airwrap. I'm just gonna quickly prep my hair with some Olaplex products, so this is is gonna be the number six bond smoother it's like a leave-in styling treatment i usually put it on just like maybe this much and i put it on when my hair is still slightly damp preparing it for heat styling it's just another like leave-in treatment to help reduce frizz and then a little bit of the volumizing blow dry mist just for some added heat protection so this is very lightweight like it doesn't really have a scent too if you're looking for something that's not strongly scented because I know hair products can be either very good with being non-scented or the scent is just very overwhelming. I actually am thinking of using this. So my boyfriend got this for me in a surprise Ota Beauty haul and this is like a volume foam to add a little bit more hold and volume. I think last time I tried this randomly before using the Dyson Airwrap and I swear it kind of helped hold some of my curls better. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this foam if it works it works if it doesn't it's fine it still like smells really good too I always love using foam products. It's fun to like squeeze out. But it's weird because I don't like using foam cleansers. So my boyfriend bought this for me in a surprise Ota haul because I have naturally wavy hair and it was so cute. The reason why he bought it for me. I let me just play the clip the I clip love right about here. Victoria is her wavy hair, her naturally wavy hair. So I think this is something that will accentuate that. I didn't expect him to say this too. I did a partnership with Ota Beauty where we were doing like a surprise Ota Beauty haul. How well does my boyfriend know me? And he picked one of these products. I thought he was just gonna be like, oh yeah, cause she has wavy hair. But he said all of that. <laughs> crying, crying. All right, let's see if I can do this in 30 minutes because I actually have lunch planned in about an hour. And I didn't plan my timing well like i always freaking do shark beauty flex style let's go and i'll describe the features like i'll come back after lunch and go over the features in more detail okay really quickly the coolest part about the shark beauty flex style is that you can push down this button right here and then rotate it so that you can make the device a little bit shorter and more angled which is very convenient for like blow drying the back of your hair or even if you have the wand attached to it to do like hairstyles and position it a certain way so this is helpful if you get like hand cramps or the device is just way too long i like that flexibility of having that in an angled position probably one of the coolest features that this shark beauty flex style has and when you shorten it to that angle it's easier to travel with all right let's start so i'm just gonna be doing my very long curtain bang piece already by the way i'm gonna be getting a haircut next month and I'm so excited because I'm getting it somewhere new that I've never been to before and I'm just excited to share and hopefully it turns out well. Ooh, look at that curl. And usually what I like to do after like doing the front bang pieces is just putting a hair roller in it so that it can continue cooling onto this while I do the rest of my hair. So I want to do that for the rest of my hair, but I just sometimes I don't have the patience or I don't have enough hair rollers to actually do that. Like if you've seen some people put hair rollers around their head as they curl each piece, like each area, I want to do that. I just, it's either I'm lazy and I also also don't have enough hair rollers. We just roll with what we have. I actually used the right barrel to do that strand, that piece. I'm gonna continue the rest of my hair on this side with the left sides.
as if I couldn't put any more stress on myself, my camera battery ran out. For now, we're just gonna be filming on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Good thing I got a new phone because honestly, iPhone qualities are always stepping up their games. So I just finished using the Shark Beauty Flex Style. I'm going with a hairspray really quick just to kind of set it in place and i'm not gonna comb through it by the way if you're looking for a hairspray that isn't too scented and overwhelming this one is pretty good because it says it's like a neutral fragrance it's just really a neutral fragrance that won't disturb like your fragrances you're wearing or anything and now let's do the dyson airwrap on this side okay same hair prep with the dyson airwrap side so going in with the olaplex i'm like kind of shaking because i am i'm a little bit stressed I'm not Gonna lie. It's okay. This is worth it. I love doing videos. I just sometimes I get my timing really off on things and like I'm like, oh I can film a video like an hour before I have to do things. Next with the blow dry mist. So I guess this is just gonna be like a Dyson Air Wrap and Shark Beauty Flex Style comparison slowly getting chaotic review. Then the Curl Smith volume foam. I heard running late people who run late are more creative so maybe that applies to me okay so i finished prepping my hair so now let's get into the dyson air wrap it's a bit chaotic Here's my air wrap oh hello oh okay so this one is a little bit different obviously this is the first of the air wrap type of technology blow dry curls this one instead of changing out the barrels like the shark beauty flex style you can just rotate the direction of the air speed the wind speed it gets a little bit confusing at first if you're trying to do different like waves and curls in different directions especially when it comes to like curtain bangs or styling your bangs but you get the hang of it it's just a little bit confusing to remember which direction you like for the different sides of your hair we're going in with the right side and then doing same thing as the shark flex style side putting in a hair roller to let it cool in So the Dyson Airwrap definitely cools faster when it comes to the cool shot but I can see that the Shark Flex Style has more heat when it comes to using the heat option and this one isn't like burning <laughs> Okay, so we just finished the Dyson side, so I'm gonna go in with the same hairspray. Again, give it some holes. I'm excited to compare both because I actually haven't compared both like in the same video yet. And the next hair reveal will be to take these off. Let me put down these hair rollers first. Again, this is the hair roller with the Shark Flex Style. And this hair roller is with the Dyson Airwrap. So this roller was able to stay on a little bit longer because I did the Shark Flex Style first. So this one, I didn't expect it to have much curl. See, it's already kind of looser since this one was held up a bit more. Still looks pretty nice. Honestly, I'm tempted to just leave my hair up because these two pieces right here already look pretty pretty cute for like a quick updo so hair review we got some bouncy curls i'm not gonna comb through this because i just want the curls to just like sit there to help it hold longer but this is the result so far shark flex style versus dyson air wrap there is gonna be a little bit of a difference already so far because i did the shark flex style first it is looking like it's not as bouncy as the dyson air wrap but it's because i just did the dyson air wrap so i'm thinking if i do a Another comparison again i'm gonna get more hair rollers so that i can leave them up throughout my head so both have a chance to sit in a hair roller to see the results and this is a must when you do your hair a little quick hair flip let me hairspray i just hope for the best when it comes to hairspray you know all right one two three 
All right. Let's play that in slow mo. So we're keeping our hair like this for now. Let's go to lunch. I might as well make this a vlog video at this point. Let's go. So we're waiting for our table for a hot pot, but we just got into Rite Aid for the time being in the beauty aisles now. Ooh, look at these lashes. There's so many. So my bestie asked me about nail glue. I actually used the one from Salon Perfect. I, I think they only sell it online or at Walmart. Oh, I used, I actually have that. It's cute for fall. I actually had this, but it didn't like fit the best on my nails. Oh my God, we should do a challenge. Get whatever you can oh, for like 30 trend, seconds, you know? like, 45 oh, seconds. Oh. No, like um, remember it was oh. like we have categories. Do you want to be in my vlog? categories it's like favorite drink favorite food favorite oh snack, that whatever, is whatever. cute and then we each buy it for each other no that'd be cute okay let's that. check out what's new at writer i love that it's looks like a bilingual brand but the eyelashes look pretty promising but tell me why this looks like a dupe for the neutrogena and then i just went down here and these are looking really similar. Ears coming through with a milky cleanser. Looks promising. And a milky toner. Another new brand I'm not familiar with. Kind of looks like a Winky Lux dupe. Maybe like a pixie-ish dupe to the elf in Rite Aid. I'm surprised they actually have some elf skin products here because usually Rite Aid like I'm not gonna lie I feel like they are like the last to have new launches and stuff I used to live really close to one and I wouldn't see many new things yeah, I lied they actually have new stuff like the Wonka collection pretty new I love these eyelashes I believe it's spiky is my go-to so we didn't get our food yet but now my bestie wants to get ice cream <laughs> before lunch so we're waiting on that honestly right it ice cream's not even that bad we finally got seated so we're just waiting to order we love going here we literally so we're at boiling point there's no menu so let me just show you this we've been coming here since high school so that's like 10 years already if you know you know drinks cake right now they have a promotion it's uh get one free drink any choice with the hot soup Oh my god, if you know, you know. I've been eating this for like 10 years already. And I'll check in with y'all later. Okay, so I'm back home. I still have some of my boba from lunch. I just want to check in with my hair. This is the shark flex style side. This is the Dyson Airwrap side. It does look like the shark flex style side is slowly starting to fall flatter. The Dyson Airwrap curls are still somewhat holding on. But again, I would give the shark flex style a little bit more leeway because I did use the shark flex style first and style this side first. So it does have more chances to fall a little bit flatter because I did the side first but overall not looking too bad either side so this is how it looks with the hair in the back so far it's looking like the shark flex style is falling flatter into like looser waves and the dyson airwrap is still trying to hold on a tight-ish curl so i want to compare some of the features next and what stands out i want to go over the shark beauty flex style first since i used that first first things first i got this in december 2022 so i started off with that first and that's how i introduced myself to like these blow dry curls air wrap style technology Besides Besides the obvious fact that it's almost half the price as the Dyson Airwrap, the version I bought didn't come with a case. I know nowadays they do offer some bundle deals that I think some of them do come with a case. I bought the original color, which is like this really nice light beige brown color. It looks very luxurious, sophisticated. It doesn't look like it's like a cheaper alternative to Dyson. It has Shark's own flair and style. I'd say this one's a little bit heavier than the air wrap and the buttons are placed a little bit differently so they're flat and the cool shot button is in the middle the heat and the wind speed are more down here and this is the power button that one's different from the dyson where all the buttons are raised and more towards the middle one of the coolest things about the shark beauty flex style is that you can twist this to angle it this way and make it smaller so that you can reach the back 
back area easier without having to put too much strain onto your arms and your wrists especially when you're working with longer hair your arms can get really tired really quickly so this is a really useful option and this looks more travel friendly just because you can make it smaller at an angle to pack and not take up as much space as if you're carrying the entire Dyson case with you into your luggage and since it didn't come with a case I literally just put it in a tote bag. I know I should get a more protective case because this is just carrying it. It's not protecting it. If you have any suggestions or recommendations on what cases I should use for my Shark Beauty Flex Style, please let me know. And it comes with five attachments, but there are different bundles where it comes with different types of attachments. I think I got the standard bundle that works with most hair types, but I know there's like different bundles for like curlier hair and different types of hair textures. Mine came with a, like a paddle attachment and then the two air wrapped barrels. This is very helpful especially for beginners because it has the arrows on the barrel for you so you can see which way the wind is blowing for you to know like if you need to place your hair above the barrel or under the barrel. See on the top of the barrel too it has L and R so it tells you left and right. Pretty easy and standard to practice with. You also get your standard round brush for more blowout styles if you're using this for quick hair drying blowout styles i don't really use this attachment right here but this is just to help just to like make it more concentrated in a certain area when you're blow drying your hair usually when i'm blow drying my hair i'm just doing it really quickly without any attachment because this is almost half the price of the dyson air wrap and it has similar functions and features i feel more comfortable traveling with this i do like that again this has like that feature where you can twist it up or leave it like normal buttons i do wish they were a little bit more raised because i usually use two hands when i'm using this entire device because the buttons down here are more towards the bottom so the cool shot button will be here and then i'll use my other hand to like turn it off and then just go straight down versus like if i was using the dyson the buttons are in the middle so it's easier to control and access the different features all in the middle with your thumb but honestly this is a pretty standard beginner device if you want to get this type of technology and try it out for yourself without shelling out almost $600 for it. I've seen a couple of people say this and I feel like I do agree now that I started using this again. The Shark Beauty Flex Style I feel like has more heat coming out. The heat feels stronger so it's gonna help you dry your hair more while you're styling it. It is quite loud. I feel like compared to the Dyson Airwrap it's a little bit louder but they're both gonna be loud because they're both blow dryers at the end of the day doing different things with attachments so it's not gonna be insanely quiet maybe in the future both of these companies will make the technology even more advanced where it'll be less loud for now don't expect something super quiet where you can listen to music on a low volume you're gonna have to bump up that music next let's go over the coveted dyson airwrap so i got this around Around summer last year when I went on an Ota Beauty trip, my first brand trip ever in LA, which wasn't too far because I am around Southern California, but it was a very exciting and fulfilling trip. And towards the end of our trip, we did get to go through a Dyson masterclass. And at the end, they surprised us with a Dyson era. So this is how I got my Dyson era. I'm very grateful and still so thankful that I got to be a part of the Ota Beauty Collective and get experiences and opportunities like this besides the obvious fact that this is almost around $600 before tax it does come with a case compared to the shark beauty flex style I believe every air wrap comes with a case so this is the original air wrap for me it's noticeably lighter and a little bit skinnier so if you have smaller hands it's easier to grip as I mentioned earlier the buttons are raised in the middle so this is the power button and if you push it all the way up, it's the cool shot button. So there's no separate cool shot button for this. These two buttons here control the heat and the wind speed. There's six attachments total. I haven't tried all the attachments yet. I actually only have used the barrel 
was so far because I wanted to test out the air wrap function but it comes with these two brush paddles right here I always forget what this is and honestly my cat kind of already bit into it like you can see her bite marks here I don't think she damaged it but of course she would bite into it I think this is the one that smooths flyaways I should make a separate video trying all the attachments on both devices so you can see how it works the round brush is noticeably skinnier and smaller than the shark beauty flex style and then the iconic barrels i like that this comes with two barrel size options so this is gonna make a little bit tighter curls this is gonna make a little bit more looser bigger curls and this you don't have to switch out for left and right you can actually just move the knob on top to switch the direction of the wind speed device itself it doesn't have that same bendy cool thing that shark has so that can be like a downside if you want something a little bit smaller to travel with the case itself it is pretty bulky this can still be travel friendly with the case depending on how much storage you have and if you want to risk putting this into your check bag that's why i mentioned earlier i feel a little bit more comfortable traveling with my shark beauty flex style because of the way that i can make the size a little bit more compact comparing it side by side you can obviously see some similarities and some differences i feel like both get the job done this is the original one so it has the original air wrap technology but the shark beauty flex style is pretty close alternative actually if you want to still experience that air wrap technology at again half the price and this is more convenient to travel with even though this has a case you can just find like a different smaller case for this if you ask me to choose which one i like more right now i feel like i can't really give a definite answer because they both have their pros and cons that kind of balance each other out like this one i like it for various reasons but that price that price really scares me <laughs> and this one i like for various reasons there are some things i wish were a little bit different but half the price of the dyson you can't go wrong with this this one i'd say is great to start with first but if you want to go all out and splurge and you don't mind getting it for that price then go for the dyson let me know in the comments which side you thought looked better on me which side that you would prefer using if you have both of these which one do you like more do you like both do you like only one do you like neither like you don't like any of them and you want to return it let me know in the comments and let me know if you want me to expand on either one of these or both of these i'm thinking of doing another longer video to go over all of the attachments let me know if you want more hair videos too i grew up not really liking my hair and not really doing much to my hair but now that i'm creating more content and being more comfortable in my hair it's pretty fun exploring different devices and different products to see what works for my hair thanks for watching again and i'll see you glowing again soon bye <laughs> the battle of the air wraps y'all yeah! like star wars like lightsabers